Hey YouTube, it's me, Sister Girl Tuesday, and I'm back with another Black History Valentine's video. Uh, just like we've been doing every week to get us started, our quote is coming from Marcus Garvey. Big up to all my Jamaicans out there. And it says, a people without the knowledge of their past history, origin, and culture is like a tree without roots. So today for our sweet treat, I'm going to show you how to make crock pot crispy treats. Um, yeah, I'm just showing you a new way to do rice krispies. I actually learned a lot from making this video. I don't think I've ever made rice krispie treats like from scratch ever, let alone in a crock pot. Um, it was interesting, fun, and most importantly, delicious. Um, don't make this snack if you're hungry because I'm pretty sure I ate like the majority of the batter while I was making it. Anyway, keep watching. These crock pot crispy treats, try saying that three times fast, are really, really good and I hope that you'll stay tuned to this video. Uh, be sure to like it and subscribe. See ya! The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your crock pot or slow cooker is set all the way to high and then measure out four tablespoons of butter or half a stick. Go ahead and slice that up and then add it to your crock pot. Yep, this recipe is just that simple. Just showing you, I've got all my butter in my crock pot. I'm putting a lid on it and I'm starting to measure out my cereal. Um, I'm gonna add two cups at a time, but we're gonna use a total of six cups of cereal. And now I'm just gonna check back on our butter here and it's already starting to melt down beautifully. And the next thing we're gonna do is add our uh, marshmallow fluff or marshmallow cream. This is a 13 ounce uh, container of that. I chose to use marshmallow cream because unlike actual marshmallows, it doesn't have gelatin. So if you're looking for a gelatin free way to have Rice Krispie treats, this recipe is definitely for you. And if you just want a Rice Krispie treat that you can make in your crock pot, this recipe is also for you. So as you can see, I'm really making sure I'm getting everything out of that container. I'm popping my lid on it. Um, I let it sit for a couple minutes and just kind of start to mix together. You really want to make sure that there's no lumps. So go ahead and keep mixing that butter and the marshmallow fluff until it looks about right. Now we're just gonna slowly incorporate our cereal, adding about two cups at a time. Uh, just a disclaimer, this recipe can get a little messy, so be prepared. Um, but I, the thing I found that works the best is just adding your cereal in slowly. Um, and six cups is just what I used. You might need to add a little more, just depending. Uh, you kind of just have to gauge it and see. And then, you know, to stay festive and with the theme of Valentine's Day, I had to just add some pink sprinkles in here, but that step is completely optional. That's it y'all, it's done. Now I'm just gonna add it into my container, take some parchment paper and press it down. Emphasis on press it down. I'm gonna set it to the side for a little bit and then I'm just gonna cut these up, stack them and serve. They are super amazing. Peep me in the outro, I am just enjoying these Crock-Pot Krispie Treats.